avocado and everything in there. You ready? No. <laughs> Oi everybody, Juliana here. Today we're going to a very special place, Poquito. Poquito is very special to me because it was my very first place working in Canada, so I'm very happy to share this place with you. I don't know if you have tried poke before, but today I will show you what is poke, where it came from, what is made of, and for sure you will learn how to make the best poke from a poke master. So get ready and let's go! Poquito is located at Queen West in the Spadina in downtown Toronto. This is one of the most known areas in the city, with amazing shops, food spots and street life. Hi everybody, I'm here at Poquito with Brian. Hi Joanna. Hi Brian, thanks for having me here. My pleasure. So he's the owner of Poquito. I worked here for a couple of months. It was a very great experience. I love it. Actually, Brian was my very first boss in Canada, <laughs> so a very nice I'm guy. Honored. I'm honored. Yeah, me too, <laughs> for sure. I love this place. At Poquito, you can also find me and News pop up, where you can get Asian fusion street food from one of the best food trucks in Toronto. They also have other proteins such as shrimp, spam, chicken, and beef. You can also build your own poke. So Brian, tell us how Poquito started, when and why Poke, why the Poke industry? Well, I got started in the food business with my best friend when I joined him to start a new food truck. And our concept was Asian fusion street food because I love to travel. I traveled all over Asia, I love to go eat all kinds of different flavors. And as we continued our food truck journey, we wanted to open up a restaurant. And the opportunity came to us where we partnered with the team behind Chat Time and we want to collaborate on opening up a restaurant. So we kind of looked at what's really popular that's not in Toronto yet, and came across Poke. We had to go try it ourselves. They say it comes from Hawaii, but first we took a trip to San Diego for a Poke Festival. Wow, nice. And that's where they had chefs from around the world serving all kinds of different wow, Poke awesome. recipes. Later we went to Hawaii to test out what the real stuff is, and we learned that Poke is just any kind of raw fish Traditionally, it's tuna, and they marinate it with sea salt and seaweed. Those are kind of like the traditional recipe. From from then, it just kind of blew up with all kind of influences like, like Japanese flavors, sesame oil, some soy sauce, yeah. cucumber, and it just keeps evolving, evolving. Up in America, and now. Canada. Yeah, it's also in Brazil. People are yeah. making a lot in Brazil too. Yeah, Brazil. they got like sushi and like a cone, right? Like poke and Yeah, like a, we, we love temaki. I talked to you about temaki. In Brazil, it's very, very common temaki. We torch a lot as well. It's very interesting. And we, we kind of mix lots of flavors. We use the Brazilian spices and the Japanese food. It's very, very interesting. We use a lot for sure. I gotta try that. So tell me about the fish. Which kind of fish you need to use for the poke? You can use pretty much any kind of sashimi grade fish. We get salmon every day delivered to us. And it's ocean wise sashimi grade salmon from the Atlantic. Awesome. We also use ocean-wise tuna. Yeah, those are pretty much our main two fishes that we use here. 
Yeah, and then I add people off if they go crazy for the tuna, so oh my god. Well, here at Pepito, we have, you know, we have some spicy salmon, we have some spicy tuna, some shoyu, sesame salmon. We have all kinds of flavors. So, everybody, now we're gonna make a poke here. Brian's gonna show us how to cut the fish. And we have salmon here, we have tuna, the toppings, the sauces, and uh, that's it. Let's get started. Let's go. Remember how to do this? Um, yes, <laughs> I remember. Sure. Right. I'll let the master. So, so we're gonna first make some spicy salmon poke. Yeah. One of our most popular dishes. Awesome. So we're gonna start with some fresh Atlantic salmon. Sashimi great, always. And we're just gonna put it into some cubes. So all you gotta do is about an inch cubes. Slice. 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 Awesome. Alright. Just like that. Alright, so now you have some beautifully chopped cubed salmon. Into the bowl. Into the bowl. Nice. And now, if you remember, we all stirred off with some salt. Some sesame oil. Okay. That's the base. Okay. Alright. Okay. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. About two teaspoons there. Nice. We're gonna do about a salt. teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna mix it. Normally, for poke, you always mix it with hand. Okay, that's nice and coated. Nice and shiny. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Sesame seeds. Usually, uh, it's mixed in the black and the white one. Yeah, we, well, that's what we do. Yeah. We like to mix it. We yeah. like color. Some uh, chili flakes. We're gonna put some dry nori inside. For a bit of that sea flavor. Nice. This is our special ingredient. Shio kombu. Wow. Do that umami flavor. Uh, what's that again? Uh, what's that again? Shio kombu. Like a oh, type of oh, I understand. I, I used to that school. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to mix that again. Just to get all the flavors incorporated together. Now, Beautiful. we're going to make the spicy salmon, right? So we put edinami in it. A little bit of our classic you sauce and touch and finally put that in there okay Got all the flavors incorporated together awesome mm. makes me hungry mm. <laughs> my mouth's watering so there you have it. spicy salmon poke keto style Next, you want to help me make the tuna? So we already pre-cut some tuna okay. over here. Yeah. And you want to throw it in that bowl. That's about a pound of tuna. Now just uh, start off with a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil. A little bit more. That's good. About a tablespoon of salt. Or... Tablespoon. Beautiful, that's good. And then give that a pre-mix. You gotta get it all nice and shiny and get all that salt even out. Very good. So let's add some of our onions. We've got some fresh cut white onions. <laughs> a little more. Yep. Some more. Did it good? And then let's go with some sesame seeds. Seeds. <laughs> some more dory. And some shio kombu. And then just give it a little splash of this stuff. 
again? We call that just pepino show you. It's a bit sweeter than uh, just regular soy sauce. Yeah. So let's mix it again. Beautiful. You want to taste it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see if it's as good as you remember. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh wow. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Well, why don't we take our freshly made poke? Yeah. And we can bring it over to our line where we could make either actually we can make both the same your bowl and one of our plates. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Sushi rice. Uh, how we make the sushi rice for the poke? Well, we use Japanese short grain rice and you mix it with a special uh, sweet vinegar mix. And you have to mix it really well. Okay, okay. So we're gonna make our balls and let's try it. Sure. So we're gonna put our So here at Pokino, we have two options. We have plates, which are customizable, where you get poke on top of rice and you can pick any two of our gourmet sides. That's more traditional Hawaiian style. Then we have signature bowls, which is Hokkaido style. And it's just like a curated bowl where we chose the toppings for you. And we have all kinds of signatures, like the 420 bowl, which is our signature. It has tuna and salmon in it, yeah. with avocado and seaweed. And then we have spicy salmon bowl, with some crab salad and some some of your different seaweeds. Yeah, and uh, one question. Yeah. Uh, how is the setup here? Okay, well, on this side, we have all of our gourmet toppings. So we prep everything in the morning. Some things we can prep the night before so that we're nice and fully prepped for our morning lunch rush and our catering. So this is fresh avocado that we smash. So it's nice and easy to spread on top of our rice. Uh, that's something that we do a bit unique over here. We got some uh, Hawaiian mac salad. We have uh, cucumber chow, which is actually a Trinidadian recipe. We have some kimchi, which is Korean. We have some crab salad, which is Japanese. So you notice we take influences from all over the world. Yeah, that's and great. And make some cool of that. Sides. Another unique thing here, you know, is our two seaweed salads. This one people should be familiar with. It's yeah, like a Japanese yeah. seaweed salad. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, everyone loves it, but it's not as healthy as you think it is. Oh, so really? we make Why? our... <laughs> Look at the label. <laughs> okay, so I know. <laughs> but we make our own seaweed salad here. Oh, where it's good. nice and healthy. It's, um, yeah, it's a great alternative. And if you oh. eat this every day, you'll keep cancer away. So now we're gonna make the most popular poke at Pokito. It's 420. Why 420? <laughs> it's called 420 because our address is 420 Queen Street West. And we also love our seaweed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> so, okay, so I'm, gonna I'm gonna put some sushi, sushi rice, rice on the base. Alright. Put some rice in our bowl. Our eco friendly bowl, very important. Flatten that up. Okay. And we're going to take a scoop of avocado, plop, spread it on the rice. Awesome. Oh my god. I just want to eat that. <laughs> then we take both of our seaweeds and we put half half. Four twenty bowl has to have seaweed in it, right? <laughs> Adename, just sprinkle that on. Yeah. Then we're missing some poke, huh? Okay. We're gonna use some of the tuna that we made. Yeah. We're gonna go half, half. Half tuna. And we have already set up some of our salmon right over here. Okay. Half tuna, half salmon. Half, half tuna, half salmon. Then we're gonna grab some of this. Put some of our drizzle on top. 
got some of our wasabi tobiko. Here at Paquito, you can also top it up with some nice sauce. Onions, some toppings, onions, and some nori. Now it's done. For you. Beautiful. Wow, thank you. So let's make another one. Yes, let's do it. Okay, some rice in the bottle. All of them? Yeah, all of them. Yeah, that's just because I'll just find it now. Okay. And for our poke plates, we're gonna use spicy salmon. Yeah, spicy salmon. So we're gonna put about five ounces. We go big or go home here. This is more traditional Hawaiian style, just poke on rice. Awesome. And what two sides do you want? You can choose. Oh, okay. Red salad. Yeah, you want that for sure? Go ahead. Okay, you go like two, two big just scoops. One. Just right here. Right here. And a big scoop right there. Then you can put the second one. Yeah. Sweet. 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 Which one? Healthy? Colorful one? Goodness. Go ahead. I love this. <laughs> Fill it up. You can throw some onion down if you like. So the toppings with onions. You can put some sabi cream or spicy mayo. How about some spicy mayo? Yes, yeah, spicy. Okay. Hey, spicy spicy salmon. Okay. Yes. Take a bite. Let's taste it. This is the taste best it. part. Now we're gonna eat it, right? Try this, delicious. Oh, yeah. Gotta get the avocado and everything in there. Eat the oh, yeah. rice. Ready? No. <laughs> Struggling? Struggling. Thank you, me. Mmm. to try the food here is delicious the vibe is amazing you're gonna love this place and that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you love this video thanks so much for coming thank you it's a pleasure to be here always good all right yeah. Woo, yeah. brian tell us what is pork i know some people know pork actually i need to say pork a better way sorry no 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 it's poke but everyone poke. calls it pork Okay, it's funny. Okay, so the right is poke. 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 Okay, so now you know. Now you know. And the sausage, the sauces. Oh my god, the sausage. <laughs> the sausage. <laughs> so, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.